The brushes palette is normally located up here in Photoshop CS. I have it in this set. If you are unable to see it, you just simply go to Window Brushes. Now for the longest time I was accessing my brush information by clicking in here, clicking on a brush that I liked, changing the diameter, but there is a better way. That's by going to the brushes palette. You have everything here that's in this area, but you have so much more. And what's also very useful is this preview window. I can change the tip and get a preview of exactly what I'm doing, how that's affecting the shape of the brush. Now, furthermore, you can move into these other tabs and by maneuvering the sliders here, create some very creative and interesting custom brushes. Even texture you could add by clicking on one of these. So as you can imagine there are literally millions of different combinations that you can come up with. You can even load different patterns. There are many that ship with Photoshop or your own custom patterns. I really like this noise down here. You can even use layer blending modes. Once you have a brush created that you like, go to this little tab and save it as a new brush preset. And there it is down here. You can load brushes from clicking here as well. Now these are sets of brushes that ship with Photoshop. Let me try this natural brushes. What it's asking here is do I want to replace the set with the natural brushes set or do I want to add it on? I'll add it on. And that's what it did. It added it on the bottom here. Let's try another set. So as you can see, you could spend quite a few hours just in this palette creating your own custom brushes.